I'd been locked in the room now for a good few days. To help me focus, I trained my martial arts whenever I could. Hopefully, I can become strong enough to bust down these walls. I have to break out of here. It's driving me crazy. The other day, while looking through the boxes again, I found a strange device. It looked like an explosive, but it was no use. It was dead. I thought I'd found a way out, but no. I just wandered around the room, day in, day out. As soon as I woke up, I'd just get up and walk around in circles. It was so boring. Occasionally, I would look out of the window to see what was going on outside. There was nothing but death in the air. I could see no people, but only the army vehicles down below, and trees in the distance. That must have been the forest. Then, one day, after doing some training, I couldn't believe what I found inside one of the boxes. It was an old piece of paper, and very valuable. I couldn't believe what I was reading and found myself absorbed in the story. It told of someone who had escaped, escaped from this very room I was trapped in. Yes, it was a story of survival. Someone escaped from this room a long time ago and made it to the forests. The forests beyond the army barracks. Those were the trees I saw outside the window. Yes, someone just like me escaped and made their way through the forests to salvation, to freedom. But as I read on, it was very grim. Apparently, while the guy was roaming through the forests day in, day out, he encountered many hardships and dangers. Apparently, there were spirits, 
zombies and warrior knights getting through the forest to total freedom was going to be more than a challenge at best
Now stop! Yes, you! Stop right there! I am the guardian spirit of the forest! What brings you here? Where have you come from? And where are you going? This path is off limits! If you don't know your way around here, you're going to find yourself in big trouble, friend! Don't you know? These parts of the woods are very, very dangerous, and even more dangerous at night. Up ahead, it gets thicker. Yes, it's not only the bugs and snakes that you need fear of. It's also the spirits and the zombies that roam this place. The maniac axe-wielding zombies. Yes, they'll surely make mincemeat out of you. Listen, I'm going to warn you to head back. If you know trail, if you know your trail, I'd head back before dark, because there are also wolves around here. Listen, you look strong, warrior, but I'm giving you some friendly advice. Turn back. Turn back where you can. It gets more thick up ahead. It's very dangerous. Also, there are lots of knights around, warrior knights, armed. They're carrying swords and are armored up. Yes, they are here to protect. They are part of the forest. Against the zombies. But they might mistake you for a zombie or an intruder of any kind and just kill you too. So, it's either going to be the animals, nature itself, the zombies, the spirits, the knights, and whatever else Hidden in these woods there are. You cannot get through. So if I was you, I would turn back. Turn back while you can. I'm the spirit guardian of the forest warning you. But this is only advice. If you don't want to listen, then I wish you good luck. Always remember, the true map is in your heart. This is the only advice I can give you. Be careful, friend. Be careful. Oh. Uh. 